is now finally the time to start loading up on a dividend favorite ETF, which is SCHD, or the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. SCHD for years has been a favorite among dividend investors, but in 2023, it has lagged and it has lagged badly to the S&P 500. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about just why has it lagged and is now the time to load up. And we're gonna look at the components that make up SCHD and why I believe it's going to outperform again in the years to come. So before we begin, do me a huge favor, click that like button down below, subscribe to the channel as it really helps with the algorithm. I truly appreciate it and let's get rolling. Hey everyone, Mark Rusin here, back for another video. As always, I'm a CPA and not a financial advisor, so please perform your own due diligence. And before we begin, let me take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, which is The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool has a ton of great resources and products available for investors of all different levels. And right now, if you go to fool.com forward slash mark, you could sign up to receive their 10 best stocks to buy right now. All right, now let's get back to our video talking about SCHD, which again has been a favorite among dividend investors. It has allowed many investors for many different years to compound their wealth. It has been a fantastic investment, a top position in my portfolio, but it has lagged in 2023. And we're going to talk about exactly why and why I also believe now is the time to start loading up. So let's begin by taking a look at performance. Over the past 12 months, SCHD has a total return of negative 5% drastically underperforming the S&P 500, which has returned a positive 15% over that same time period. Although the past year has not been favorable for SCHD investors, if we look further out, things are much more intriguing. Over the past decade, SCHD has traded in a range much more comparable to the return of the S&P 500. Over that period, the S&P 500 has returned slightly over 200% compared to SCHD returning 170% over that same period. I always like to say that SCHD is a great complement to the S&P 500, which should really be the core of any portfolio out there, regardless of whether you're a dividend investor, a growth investor, or somewhere in the middle. If you look at my portfolio, the largest position you'll see is an S&P 500 index fund. And if you go a few positions down, you will see SCHD. But the S&P 500, although it's had a fantastic year in 2023, it's largely been pulled higher by the Magnificent Seven which consist of Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Tesla, Amazon, Alphabet, and Meta Platforms. And when you look at these seven stocks, which account for roughly 30% of the entire S&P 500, here's a look at the year-to-date returns. NVIDIA is up nearly 230%, Meta Platforms up 180%, Tesla up over 90%, Amazon 75%, Microsoft nearly 60%, Alphabet 55% and Apple nearly 50% return all from these seven stocks. That is just amazing returns. So if you pulled these out, you would see an S&P 500 that's actually not performing all that great. One way to do that is by looking at RSP, which is the equal weighted S&P 500 ETF that's out there. And when you look at the returns from it, that is up only 5% on the year. So a very wide gap between RSP and the S&P 500. This tells you that a lot of the positions that are out there, the other 490 plus stocks, a lot of them aren't actually having that great of a year in 2023, regardless of whether you look at the headline number and the S&P 500 is up over 20%. This tells me that the run we've seen in the markets, it actually isn't that healthy. The healthiest bull market runs that you see dating back years and decades are across various different sectors. This year, it's really been across two sectors technology and communication services. Anything outside of that has not really been having that great of a year. But that gives all the reason on why I like SCHD because healthy bull markets are usually broad. And one thing that SCHD is, it's very broad. It has great diversification. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's a look at the sector breakdown in terms of exposure for SCHD. The largest exposure is to the industrial sector at 18%, followed by financials at 16%, healthcare at 15.8%, consumer defensive at nearly 13%, and then the technology sector slightly below 12%. So as you can see, SCHD is very well diversified. Another reason why I say SCHD is the perfect complement to an S&P 500 index fund or ETF. Now, when you look at the lack of performance here in 2023, 
the primary reason we just saw. Technology is the fifth largest exposure rate at less than 12%. And when you look at communication services, which is even further below, combine the two and we're looking at an exposure rate of roughly only 17%. That right there, folks, is exactly why SCHD has lagged so bad in 2023. But again, healthy, broad market rallies are usually across various different sectors, multiple sectors, not just two. Now let's take a look at SCHD's top individual positions. It is led by Broadcom, followed by Verizon, Amgen, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Merck, AbbVie, The Home Depot, Texas Instruments, and UPS. These top 10 positions account for roughly 40%, and in totality, SCHD has a total number of 104 positions. SCHD is a passively managed ETF, which means that usually comes with a low expense ratio, which can be thought of as the fee that you have to pay for owning an ETF. The fee right now or the expense ratio is just 0.06%. So that means for every 10,000 in value you have in SCHD, you will pay $6 per year. So when it comes to the intrigue with SCHD, you get a well-rounded portfolio that is very well diversified. So when we have a strong market run moving higher across multiple sectors, SCHD is going to benefit. So you get that. You get the growth potential across multiple sectors. And you also get that total return in terms of growth. And then you also get the total return side of dividends. Reliable, safe dividends that continue to grow and have been growing for over a decade now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. SCHD currently yields a dividend of 3.7% to go along with a five-year dividend growth rate of 14%. And as you can see, the dividend has increased for more than 11 consecutive years and counting. So there's a lot to like when it comes to SCHD. Sure, it's been down in 2023 and let those nearsighted naysayers bag on SCHD. But when you look over history, it has performed very admirably. Right alongside the S&P 500, it is a great complement to an S&P 500 that is has a technology heavy exposure rate there. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this opportunity as the ETF is only 7% above its 52-week low, and I'm going to take this opportunity to load up on shares of SCHD. Down in the comment section below, let me know what are your thoughts on SCHD? Do you believe it's a buy right now, or do you believe its best days are behind us? Let me know down in the comment section below, and if you haven't done so yet, make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.